I think he is. Best three-point people... shooter. In the well, it, who's it the best is. shooter overall? LeBron. No, Kevin Durant is a better. Really? I'll I'll take this guy because he's pretty special. And in a few years in the NBA, he's become a superstar. He is the first Twitter star of the NBA. When he goes off. Everybody goes to Twitter and says, you've got to watch the Warriors. He's gone on. And then the next day, there are more Steph Curry clips going around in the days that he goes off than any player in the NBA. you got to see what he did last night. But as easy as he makes the game look, his road to greatness has not been anything close to as smooth as you might imagine. Today's a big ticket day. Everybody's still offering me tickets. Steph needed about... 45, 50 tickets, and then I'll probably still get a call before I get to the arena, maybe even before the game starts. Here comes another call for tickets right on cue. Hello? It's December in Charlotte, North Carolina. Dell Curry, a TV analyst for the Bobcats, is on his way to work. It's a short trip that represents a long journey. It's a father's dream to watch your son compete and do the things that you did uh, and he's better than you are <laughs> no doubt about it i can still shoot a little bit but he's way better than i ever was he is the golden state warriors all-star guard dell's oldest son 26 year old stephen curry it's still surreal to me for real i mean to come and play against them and see him on the sidelines and i know he's commentating on me now um, trying to stay as neutral as possible, probably, but um, you know, it's still surreal for me, for sure. Surreal because the NBA's best shooter was once a long shot. I don't think anyone could envision uh, what he's doing on the basketball court. We, we knew he had the work ethic and, and the drive and the dedication and the want, but you just don't know how things are going to work out. March 14, 1988, Wardell Stephen Curry II was born. That summer, his father, a six foot four shooting guard, joined the Charlotte Hornets. Curry pulls up, knocks down the tray. He would make over 1,200 threes in 16 seasons, earning a reputation as one of the best shooters in the game. It's good that my teammates, they know when I'm in the zone, they're gonna do everything they can to get me the ball. Pick and roll play, Curry lets it fly. I remember just on school nights wishing I could go to the game. You know, mom would say, no, you can't go to the game on school nights because we're not going to get home till 11 or 12. And so that when, I, when they had Friday or Saturday night games, uh, that was like the biggest deal for us because we knew we were going to the game that night. How much time did Dell spend teaching him the game? Not very much at all because we wanted to just let it come naturally. Yeah, I was a competitive guy. I loved the, all the sports that I played, but there was something about basketball and kind of doing what your dad did that had a little more of a draw to it. He didn't have to follow in his dad's footsteps. He could do anything he wanted to do, uh, try anything he wanted to do, but as long as he gave it 100%. When I was in eighth grade, I made a decision to spend all year round on it and do what it took that was necessary to, to play in college. But as a high school sophomore, Stefan stood just five foot six and weighed 125 pounds. Lacking strength, he still shot the ball from his waist. I told him, listen, son, if you want to play in the college, you're going to have to bring it up and get it up above your head, over your forehead. So we worked at it all summer. It was, that was a tough summer for him. It was tough for me to watch them in the backyard at late nights, uh, a lot of hours during the day working on his shot because, I mean, they broke it down to a point where he couldn't even shoot at all. He'll be back there at times uh, crying, not want to work on his game. He had to do it rep after rep after rep to a point where he was able to master it. With his remastered shot, Stefan averaged just under 20 points a game his junior season of high school. Growing up in Tar Heel country, you want to play for you know, Duke, NC State, Carolina, and Wake Forest. And I wanted to play on that level. I don't ever remember even seeing him. I do know that when I did see him, I thought, man, he is little. The only major program to recruit Stefan was his father's alma mater, Virginia Tech. And even they said he would have to walk on. 
I don't think he's ever said it before, but I mean, you could tell that that hurt him a little bit. How did you handle the disappointment of those bigger schools not coming after you? Um, I used it as motivation that summer before my senior year in high school to just just play my game and, and you know the right coach and the right college would come and make themselves known that they wanted me. That college was Davidson, a small liberal arts school 20 minutes north of home. The big time schools didn't recruit him because of his um, his appearance, I think, his size, his stature. People just saw him as uh, a low major, mid major guard that uh, they were a dime a dozen. What did you see in him? I, I saw brilliance. Just the way he talked and the confidence that he expressed and how you know, I could impact you know, their team right away. You know, if I allowed him to, to let him coach me, that good things would happen. His first game as a college player, he started uh, against Eastern Michigan up in Ann Arbor, and, uh, and in the first half, he had nine turnovers. We're down 18 points at halftime. I'm rethinking whether he belongs to be in the starting lineup. Put him in the starting lineup in the second half. We won the game. Next night against Michigan, he dropped 32. I was very surprised. We passed Coach McKillop in the airport, and he grabs me and my wife, he goes, your son's gonna make a lot of money playing this game one day. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe overseas, <laughs> you know. But the best was yet to come for Stefan, who had grown to six foot three by his sophomore season. March 21st, 2008. Curry, three, yes! The NCAA tournament. With his parents in the stands, Stefan scored 40 against Gonzaga. Two days later, he dropped 30 on Georgetown. Curry driving on Wallace, a high three, got it! I don't even have the words to kind of describe that whole experience. I mean, we just sat there and just scratched our head. We'd come home and we'd say, fell out and just like, can you believe that? And we'd almost ride home in silence because it was just like, what is he going to show us next time? To Curry, left hand corner, let's grab it off the body and lays the three. The star of the tournament whose legend continues to grow, Stephen Curry. He averaged 32 points a game in Davidson's Cinderella run to the Elite Eight. In a span of 10 days, Stephen Curry had become a household name. We changed from uh, being Dell's son to Dell being his father. A couple days later, the Bobcats had a game. And we got tickets. Uh, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to bring Steph to the game. And a uh, security guy calls me. He goes, do you need security? I'm good. Nah, he doesn't need security. What do you mean? He comes to the games all the time. He said, OK. So we get to the game, whew, mob. <laughs> it's like a rock star. I'm like, oh, we need some security here. So that's what I knew. OK, things have changed. <laughs> in his junior season, there was more of the same. He led the nation in scoring averaging almost 29 points a game, then declared for the 2009 NBA draft. Yeah, I kind of heard the same stuff outside going into the NBA. I'm too small, not athletic enough, can't play defense, not strong enough. I was nervous. Um, obviously, making that transition is a big deal. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. And here is Curry hitting another three. In 2010, Stephen finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting. But in the next two seasons, chronic right ankle problems would force him to miss 48 games and undergo two surgeries. Every question I got was, you know, how are your ankles? You know, are you going to be, you know, that pseudo Grant Hill story, or were you have an injury that kind of holds you back from reaching your full potential? He's always injured. The rumors, everything. It's really tough. So it was good that he could be here around family to keep that encouragement um, while he was rehabbing. Um, but again, he's, he's a very competitive, determined kid. He wasn't going to let it stop him. After six months of rehab, in November of 2012, 
Curry returned for his fourth season. He set a new single-season NBA three-point record. Curry for three. Wow! Unbelievable! Signed a four-year, $44 million contract extension and led the Warriors to the playoffs in a first-round upset of the Denver Nuggets. Steph Curry fires away. Got it! Are you kidding me? Steph has more game than his pops. <laughs> And that's with all due respect to old school basketball and Dell. <laughs> to me, Steph Curry has blossomed into a superstar. Uh, he has simply become the uh, face of this franchise. He's also become, like his father, a family man. Yeah. Stephen lives in Oakland with his wife, Aisha, who he met in high school and their two-year-old daughter, Riley. Just love coming home and, and seeing her and see, you know, what did she learn today and, and you know, smiling and having fun and, and lighting up not only my eyes, my wife's eyes, my whole family. Just, uh, they don't really worry about me and my wife anymore. They just, hey, where's Riley at? Typically, he's at practice, comes home, and we are chilling, cooking dinner watching Modern Family on the couch, <laughs> playing with Riley. Like, we're like the most normal people on the face of the planet. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but on this September day, something far from normal. Nice. I've never really been afraid of heights, but looking at this kind of, I'm starting to. Just a week before training camp, Stefan and Aisha are trying something new. Oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! That's friggin'. <laughs> Reaching new heights was a fitting start to Stefan's fifth NBA season. Curry to win! Good! Good! He was voted a starter at his first All Star game in New Orleans. <laughs> so, cheers to. That weekend confirmed how far Stephen Curry has come. The undersized kid from Charlotte, the long shot, has become the talk of the NBA. Are you gonna give my point guard three hezzies? <laughs> you gonna go here, here, and then here again? I'm like, damn, three hezzies? Give my point guard three hezzies, though, for the L. Real like Bad boy. What? I often get guys that I played with, guys still in the league. I'd pay to watch your son play. That's the ultimate compliment. I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody in this room to enjoy this whole experience with each and every one of you. is definitely uh, something I'll remember, so thank you. Every bit of the journey was worth it. Who would have thought? <laughs> this is crazy, right?